Hello and welcome. I'm Elisa Fink, the Vice President of Marketing for Tableau Software. It's my pleasure to tell you about Tableau and how we are working with senior software. First, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Tableau. Tableau software is based on a software breakthrough from Stanford University. Stanford professor Pat Hanrahan, who co-founded Pixar, was asked by the Department of Defense to help their military analysts use data better. Pat brought together computer graphics experts and database experts to invent a new class of data visualization software. After several years of research and development, Tableau spun out of Stanford into a commercial business in 2003. Now Tableau makes visual analytics and business intelligence software that delivers 10 to 100 times productivity improvements over current reporting and graphing solutions. Multi-dimensional discoveries that ordinary analysts and people can use rapidly and web-based business analytics at one-tenth the cost of a business intelligence platform. We're headquartered in Seattle, Washington, and customers include firms like Google, Allstate Insurance, Cornell University, Apple, and thousands more. Tableau is different because Tableau leverages the human visual perception system. Your eyesight is your most powerful sense. Seventy percent of all your sense receptors are in your eyes. Let's look at an example. Tables of numbers are serial and slow. From this table, it is difficult to rapidly understand the patterns in my sales over time. But put that data into a visualization and now I instantly see trends and patterns. Data visualization makes patterns and trends easy to see and easy to understand. And we're not the only ones who recognize this. Gartner, the world's leading information technology analyst firm wrote recently that interactive visualization tools dramatically improve the ease of use and understanding of data. eWeek.com, a well-known IT magazine and website, wrote that Tableau software is a major step in the right direction toward developing the next generation of business intelligence software. Perceptual Edge, an extremely highly regarded expert consultancy in data visualization, acknowledges that Tableau is the leader. And finally, The Economist magazine wrote recently that Tableau Software, co-founded in 2003 by Pat Hanrahan of Stanford University, does for visualizing data what word processing did for text, allowing anyone to manipulate information creatively. All of this has brought us to over 5,000 companies or organizations strong as our customers and over 50,000 users worldwide in 92 countries. You can see from this list that we have customers in virtually every industry. So how do these customers work with Tableau? In several ways. Company analysts use Tableau as a desktop tool to analyze data in their corporate databases or Excel spreadsheets or even text files. Organizations use Tableau more broadly and share business intelligence, dashboards, reports, and graphs in web browsers. Software makers embed Tableau in their own offerings to give their customers a positive analytical experience. And many individuals use our free product, Tableau Public, to visualize publicly available data and publish it in their websites and blogs. Again, all for free. Let me tell you a little bit more about Tableau Public, what it is and who's using it. Tableau Public is a free service that lets anyone publish data to the web in beautiful interactive graphics. Anyone seeing the visualization can interact with it, with the data, download it, or create their own visualizations. No programming skills are required. People who want to tell stories with data are using it, and that includes bloggers, journalists, students, researchers, and virtually anyone else. Let's see a demo of Tableau Public. Now I've been fortunate enough to ha I have a copy of Tableau Public here in front of me, and I'm going to go ahead and open some data um, that is in a spreadsheet that I downloaded from. Uh, from Microsoft's Dallas project and this is a project to make publicly available data and commercial data easily available in a Microsoft format all over the web in a marketplace. So I've got some data that has worldwide student data. 
the spreadsheet. I simply point to it and Tableau brings up all of the various dimensions or variables of categorical data and measures. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started and let's look at the number of students. Just simply drag it here. Overall, there are virtually, wow, 18 million students worldwide. Well, how is that by country? Let's look at that. In fact, let's go ahead and do this and let's sort it. And I can quickly see that the majority of students are in China and India and the Republic of Korea. That's pretty amazing. How has that been uh, holding over time? In fact, the time period might, in fact, instead of being a number um, that can be added, it's a categorical variable. So let me put that on the color. And we can see over time how um, student population has changed within each one of these countries. So pretty interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and make another. Let's just call this bar chart. And let's make another graphic. And this time I'm interested in looking at this on a map. So I'm simply going to double click on country. And now I see a dot for every country that I have data. Terrific. I again am interested in the number of students. Let's put that on the size shelf so that each circle represents the number of students attending by country. And I see a pretty amazing story about how the student population is um, uh, how I can see the student population worldwide. Again, I might be interested in filtering by the time period. In fact, I might even want to add this as a quick filter so that I can turn on and off various years or I can actually go right through them, slide through the list one at a time and see how that works, see how, there, how many there were in 99 and so on, 2000, 2001. And you can see things are changing a little bit here and there as the as population moves on. So rather interesting. Um, what I'd like to do now is make a dashboard and then go ahead and have that published. So I take my bar chart and I add it here. I take my map. Maybe I put that on top. I might want to make it so that if I have a filter, uh, if I grab several countries up here, my bar chart down here changes a little bit so I can zoom in on the actual numbers uh, by geographic area. So I just set that. I have some quick filters over here that I can look at. And then I've got the size of the student population, the circles, how big those are. So I've got a nice dashboard here. It's very interactive. What I'd like to do now is add a title. Worldwide student population. And let's go ahead and publish this to the web. So I simply click on Save to the Web. I log in to my account that Tableau software has given me for free. And now what Tableau is doing is it's publishing my dashboard and my visualizations to the web so that now this will be available on the web to anyone that uh, reads my blog or my website or I give the URL to. So let me name this. And what I've got here is a preview of what this visual, this dashboard is going to look like over the web. So here's the dashboard right here coming up in just a moment. Taking just a moment to publish and finish publishing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this. I'm going to take some co code. I'm going to embed this in my own blog. I do have a blog. Um, it's uh, it's a my own personal sample blog, and I'm going to go ahead and type in. So here I'm going to give it a title. Um, growth, call this growth of students worldwide. And all I'm going to do is cut and paste in that little bit of code that you saw me use previously. You saw me pull up, and I'm going to hint simply hit publish post. I'm going to view it, and I've got a live data interact data visualization right here in my blog, just like that. I can go ahead and do some of the things I showed you so that I can zoom in and see all kinds of great activities. So this is how Tableau Public works. It makes it possible for anyone to publish live interactive data visualizations on the web for free using data that they either want to make public or data that is already public.
You can get a copy of it at tableaupublic.com. So if you go to the website www.tableaupublic.com, you can learn more about Tableau Public and you can publish, you can download a copy of the software, install it on your PC, create visualizations, and then save it to the web. Uh, from there, you can take the HTML code, embed it in your blog or website, and we will serve it up for free worldwide. To, to close our discussion today, we're delighted again for Tableau and Senior Software to be in a partnership together. Senior Software's new product, Senior Visual BI, leverages Tableau's world-leading data visualization software. Now Senior Software's customers can easily use Tableau's innovative data visualization capabilities to manage their businesses better and more easily. And this helps make Senior Visual BI, Senior Software's new product, represent the new generation of business intelligence with a focus on identifying opportunities, problems, patterns, and solutions. Thank you very much for your attention today.